Hello, everyone, and welcome inside the CIF. I'm Richard Tiemann, and welcome back to our six-part mini-series where we take a sneak peek at the home and away opponents for the six teams competing in the 2021 CIF season. Up next, the Oklahoma Flying Aces. All right, fans, here to break down the home and away opponents for the Oklahoma Flying Aces, head coach Richard Davis. Welcome, coach. How are you? Good, Richard. Thanks for having me. This is uh, pretty, pretty good stuff you got going here, and I'm excited to be a part of it. We're just a few days away from the official revised schedule release Thursday, the 18th. I've already talked to half the coaches in the league, and it's interesting having a conversation with each one because their thoughts and opinions kind of differ depending on the topic, whether it's bye weeks, the uh, strength of schedule, the home and away opponents, all of that. So I guess first and foremost, what do you think of your schedule? Uh, honestly, Richard, I'm just happy to have a schedule, <laughs> you know, um, after missing out last year, um, I felt so bad for our players, all the players throughout the league. They, those kids put in so much time and energy and effort to, to get ready and then to have that thing taken from them. Our fans, they deserve an opportunity to, to uh, enjoy this product. And, and we were growing in our market. And so it's, it's really exciting to be back. Uh, don't, don't care where we play, where we play. I'm just glad to be playing. And for the fans watching at home, the Oklahoma Flying Aces official home and away opponents are at home. You guys get Wyoming, Salina, Wichita, Omaha, and Wyoming as your last game of the regular season. And the away opponents, Wyoming, Wichita, Salina, Wichita, and Omaha. Uh, your first opponent of the actual CIF season will be on the road against the new expansion team, Wyoming Mustangs just talked to coach Keith Russ. He says that he doesn't feel like he has any kind of advantage against you being that that's probably the furthest that uh, any two teams will travel will be you guys to them and vice versa. But how do you feel about that matchup? You know, um, you never know from year to year. I, I have learned that. Um, but I will say this, uh, it's going to be tough going in to play somebody in your first game. We have absolutely no idea how they approach the game. We don't know what they do. Uh, are they going to be run uh, you know, dominant in the, in the manner like a Sioux City? Or are they going to throw it ever down like, a, you know, some of the other teams? You just don't know. So uh, I would say that um, we are at a bit of a disadvantage there just from the uncertainty because they can watch us uh, film-wise from a couple years ago. But that being said, I am excited about it. Um, I look forward to the trip. I'm very happy Wyoming's in the league. Those guys are doing a great job. I, I talk to them all the time. Um, they're probably doing as good a job as any expansion team we've ever had of focusing on revenue on the front end, on the business side, uh, and separating that from football. And then on the football, man, they're putting some, some legitimate guys on the field uh, or on the roster. All the coaches, we all watch everybody's transactions, and they're getting some dudes. So, so um, it's going to be a challenge. But I'm, I am, again, I'm really looking forward to it and, and excited to make that trip. Yeah, there's a lot of boxes for an expansion team to check going into their inaugural season, and it looks like they've certainly checked uh, all of them from everything that you said, marketing, selling tickets, and putting together a quality product for out on the field. Your schedule, they're actually the first couple of opponents that you guys have as far as official league action, uh, so you're yeah. actually going to get to know them fairly quickly and be very familiar with them. Now, as far as uh, the rest of the first part of your schedule, a couple of bye weeks in there, what's your approach to bye weeks? And uh, is the beginning of the season any better than the rest of the season? Uh, you know, I probably, I probably, generally speaking, Richard, agree with the coaches. There's no formula uh, that you know from year to year. Um, I don't know that anybody would probably draw up their bye weeks the way that they fell for us. Um, uh, it just, you know, two. Three, three bye weeks, if you will, in a, in a period of, of that short of time is tough. Uh, that being said, here's the deal. Maybe we need them. You know, maybe we need those weeks to develop. Uh, maybe we get an early injury that I'm turning around and I'm thankful that we had those two weeks to fix that. So, again, you just simply don't know. You just play them as, as they, you know, line up and, and uh, try to get a win each week. And, and that includes on the bye weeks. You got to win the bye weeks, crazy as that sounds. Uh, you got to gain ground. Um, uh, on yourself and gain ground on your opponents if you can. And so we just take them each week and, and get after it. What's the matchup on there that really grabs your attention? <laughs> well, um, 
I, I was interested to, to when I watched, uh, you know, the interview that you had with, with Irv up there in Sioux City. I'm sure they're angry as all get out that we're not on their schedule, considering that my personal record against them is like one win versus 432 losses or something like that. Um, so I, I got to be honest with you, when I saw we, we didn't have to take our annual whooping from Sioux City, I was, I was happy. Um, uh, Richard, listen, I, the, I don't, when you're on the bottom like we were, um, you're just fighting to find wins. You're fighting to try to be competitive. Uh, and I think we got our team there down the stretch. As an example, Sioux City is a good example. We took them into overtime. I went for two to win it. Uh, they stopped us, made a great play. Um, we think we, we moved into, we were competitive at the end of our first year with everybody we played. And I think they would all say that in return. We were right there in games. We could have won them. We just didn't win them. And so now that's what we've got to do. Our matchup really becomes the one we're looking forward to is the one that against ourselves. Can we take it to the next step and start getting W's uh, instead of just kind of being in the fight? And I think this team is uh, coming together. I like us. I think we're all focused on that mission, but we got to go get it done on the field first. Absolutely. And when I talked with Coach Russ, he mentioned that there's already some playful banter or maybe even you'd call it hazing coming from the Oakla or from the Omaha coaching staff with uh, Damon Ware <laughs> and Marvin Jones. Now, you guys, as you mentioned, you feel you were kind of at the bottom of the heap there, but they're the new kids. Like, is there any kind of banter going on there since they're your first official opponent of the season? Uh, probably not. You know, my dual role in the front office side um, and on the ownership board. I got to know Russ through that process first. And so I think he, we talked to them more about um, helping any way we can to get their organization up and running. And that's not to say we're, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to pick at each other. Uh, I'm sure we will, especially that we're playing each other three times, but, but uh, no, you know, Russ, we're good. Their, their hands are full, just like ours. If we're, if we have any bit of getting after each other, it's probably the guys that uh, I've had a bit of a relationship with. Um, I, you know, Marvin and I, or certainly Irv and I up in, in uh, Sioux City, um, they got a lot to fire darts at us over. But uh, I'm looking forward to being able to, to coach against Haran this year. I have not gotten to coach Haran in Salina. They do such a doggone good job. He is such a good ball coach. And, and so I am looking forward to those challenges. The unfortunate part of it is they're really big challenges. They're really good. So uh, you got to kind of be careful what you wish for in our league this year, because every single week it's going to be it's going to be a battle. Well, as you mentioned earlier, you guys will not play the Sioux City Bandits. In fact, you and Sioux City are the only teams in the league to not play every team, and it's because you don't play each other. So the only time you would meet would be in the postseason. Does that add <laughs> any kind of extra incentive to you and your team to, if the one time you get to play them would be sometime after the regular season? Oh, you know, not really. It's it's that's embedded in professional football. Um, your job is to win. Those guys' are job show up, earn your paycheck every day, every week. So yeah, I, I hope we play them because that means some good things have happened for us both. And I really like those guys. We've become very close friends with those guys in Sioux City. Um, my wife's family is from all up there in Iowa. They got family all over Sioux City. So so that's a that's a fun part of of our business. But um, again, Richard, we just we are fighting from the bottom. We've got to go earn our respect. We got to go get a W somewhere and um, pretty laser focused on figuring out where just how to get that done. Well, like we said, it might not be the prettiest schedule, but as you so eloquently put it, it is a schedule nonetheless. So absolutely. How excited are you to finally get back to football? Big time. I mean, I'm just telling you, it's it's little things, Rich. I, I, I'm the father of four children, two boys and two girls, and I don't I don't know which ones are more excited, the boys or the girls that they're. they're this is embedded in our family now. The Flying Aces is part of the Davis family. We, we do it from the socks and jocks that have to be washed all the way up to the sales that have to be sold and the players. And um, I am excited. There's a lot of things that are, are happening here to help us. The Stride Bank Center and the, our general manager downtown, Kevin, is he has brought his entire staff to the table to help us. Um, we've got a sales team out in the community now by virtue of the fact that they've uh, uh, allowed that to happen. Um, so when you when you think of a season, people in these videos, they really think of it in the terms of just the football side. I got to be honest with you, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that go into this that deserve the respect, the appreciation, the opportunity to see uh, what they've built and put their time and energy into unfold on the field. So I'm excited for our staff, our coaches, 
Um, we've got we've got some people that have bled with us, Richard, in the front office that they don't folks don't know their names. But when it comes to you know all the sweat, blood, and tears, Casey and Randy McLennan have been right there with us, fighting, helping us build everything along the way. So those are exciting things. You want that to get back going so we can all feel that that sense of normality and and uh, being back where we belong. Well, Coach, I want to thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate you coming on here and breaking down your home and away teams with us uh, in lieu of the big revised schedule release for the 2021 season. No, and I want to thank you personally, Richard, for taking on this task. Um, you're going to help elevate our league. Uh, the job that you've done already is uh, you deserve a tip of the cap to. I appreciate it. I know that our players and our coaches will be the beneficiary of your hard work moving forward this season uh, with the around the CIF. Um, inside the CIF and, and all the things that come around with that. So I'm excited about it. I thank you for it. And, and it's time to get this thing going. Well, hey, thank you so much for the kind words, Coach. I'm certainly very excited about the opportunity and look forward to making the most of it. So once again, folks, he is the head coach of your Oklahoma Flying Aces, Richard Davis. You have a good one, Coach. Thank you. You too. And one more big thank you to Coach Davis for joining me today and going over the home and away opponents for his Flying Aces. Make sure you tune in tomorrow at noon as we only have two more schedules left to take a sneak peek at before the big schedule release Thursday, February the 18th. I'm Richard Tiemann, and this is Inside the CIF. Mm -hmm.